today we're going on the Battle of the Spiders. Crazy everywhere. Stay tuned. little dilemma today. The building next door was recently purchased by new owners and they're kind of go-getters and uh, they were out there cleaning up the outside of the building. Now that outside of that building had quite a few spiders which have now migrated to our house. So today is going to be a little bit to battle the spiders. Put together some concoctions and we'll see if they work. So here's what I'm spraying with. Do you remember the orange cleaner that I made? I'll link the video here. What I did is um, I took the knowledge that orange and vinegar cuts the trails left by spiders and ants and all insects. So we know that and I did some more research and it says peppermint is really good to keep spiders away and I've honestly sprayed my basement with peppermint for years and on Mondays I wash my front door with peppermint it's just a weird thing I don't know so I'm gonna take the orange cleaner and put it in my spray bottle same spray bottle that I always keep orange cleaner in The only thing I'm going to do different is I'm going to add peppermint oil. I buy it by the big bottle. I think I'm going to add maybe three dropperfuls like that. So that would make it probably about a tablespoon. the lid back on. I'm going to use this. Shake it. I lost the end to my sprayer. I was just adjusting it to make it shoot farther and I dropped it and it went down a crack in the porch. But it still shoots actually. It shoots really well. So that's what I'm doing. My goal today actually was to wash the front porch windows gonna happen with all those spiders hanging around. Not gonna happen with all those spiders hanging around. So we'll give it a day after the spray, see what happens. And we can brush down the cobwebs and wash the windows. <laughs> so here's the other recipe I'm gonna do. I do have a mosquito repellent that I have videoed already and I'll put that link here and this is kind of a modification of it except I'm putting it in my sprayer that goes on my hose so I make it a little thicker I just dumped ammonia just regular ammonia this is clear ammonia I like the lemon ammonia for this but I only have the clear and then some really cheap lemon soap I don't get the expensive stuff because this is basically just to keep this on the leaves. It kind of makes it sticky. And then today, this stuff, Bell's naphtha. This is what my grandma put on her plants for years and what I've always used. I'm just gonna shave a little bit into there. shaved about a tablespoon into my sprayer container. I'm going to let it sit and melt for a little while and then put it on the sprayer. Now I'm doing this because you can't put vinegar on your plants, but 
which you can spray ammonia and soap on your plants and the fells naphtha. This hopefully will deter any straggling spiders from settling anywhere else. And I did see a couple mosquitoes this morning when I was battling spiders. So with everybody coming over for the holiday, I just want to make sure that we are mosquito free. So I connected this sprayer to the hose. I'm just going to spray everything with it. It's melted in the bottom. We'll go from there. So when I was here in the backyard a little while ago, feeding the rabbits and the chickens, the mosquitoes were horrible. So I took this thing and I added that same recipe with the ammonia and the naphtha and the lemon detergent, dish detergent. And I'm just gonna spray around the yard. I tried to take the thing off the front sprayer hose but Fred's dad had tightened it so tight with pliers that I was just totally unable to detach it so I'm just gonna spray with this
want to see more of our adventures, like and subscribe and share our videos. Thank you for watching.